when we partake of the Eucharist, apparently John is, is Catholic, uh, does the bread and the wine turn to Jesus' body and blood, or is it simply symbolic? Okay, uh, well, well uh, when we partake of the U Eucharist, okay, first of all, well, we, uh, yeah, we, yeah, no. do you have a mouse in your pocket? Because I don't partake <laughs> of, the, of the Eucharist, okay? Well, Eucharist is really, it's a, an English uh, transliteration uh, from the Greek, which is you, which is a well, and charis, which is favor, it's also translated as grace. So it's like well favored. That's what it literally uh, means, okay. but, it is defined in ecclesiastical terms as Eucharist uh, among the Catholics where the, uh, the bread and the wine become the body and blood uh, because, it, you know, as it says, and you know, it's a common figure of speech, this is my body, this is my blood. Right. You know, is, it's a metaphor, it's a figure of speech, it represents this. It is, in my opinion, in my humble opinion, which everyone should believe, it's a figure of speech. It does not, the Eucharist turns into the, the mass to where it literally becomes his body and blood. This is nonsense, in my opinion, okay? Other people will have other uh, ideas, but mine is right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is not the body and blood of Messiah. He was, he was interpreting the last night with his disciples at the Last Supper before the Passover was sacrificed the next day, in which he was the Passover sacrifice. He was interpreting the breaking of the bread and the wine, the very things that Melchizedek, the Melchizedek, the king of righteousness, brought forth to Abraham the bread and the wine, and Abraham, in response, gave the Melchizedek a tenth of his empire, basically. Because, what, because as Yeshua says, Abraham saw my day and he rejoiced. He really saw Yeshua in that, the broken body and the shed blood. It's a figure of speech, so. All right.